in Lagos. There has never been a time there is a riot in Lagos and Yoruba has begun to burn the property of Igbos. Tell me when it happened. They can burn their own, but they can preserve our own. During the civil war, every tribe that is so near to Igbos, including the Ikwere in Port Harcourt, sees our properties. They call it abandoned property. Our next door neighbors, people that even speak the same Igbo with us, who you know be Igbo. They change everything and seize the property still today. Tell me one single property of Igbo that was seized by the Yorubas after the war. We went back and reclaimed our properties. They kept it for us. In fact, uh, one of Emeka Anyoku said that a man, a Yoruba man that is neighbor, when he ran away and his family, he kept their property and was collecting rent for him throughout the Civil War three years. And when he came back, he handed over to him. Even a Meko Juku that led the war, the 13 properties his father had in a, a place called Ikoi in Lagos were all handed over back to him. What is all this madness? It is high time we cool down. Nobody hates you. Nobody wants to stop you. Politics is about campaign and, and superiority. Ahmed Tinumbu have the right. Ahmed Tinumbu have the right to vie for presidency. Kwan Kwan so have the right to vie for presidency. I think we have the right to vie for presidency. None of these people is representing a tribe. If you feel that Peter program and plans are better, market him very well. But all these things that the Yorubas are against us, they want to stop us from being the president, is a fallacy. I don't believe it. Market your own candidate in peace. Stop all these things that because there will be life after 2023. And most of the time we might be even be endangering the lives and property of our brethren who are living here by our utterances, by our writing, and by our action. So is it not high time somebody will now begin to say enough? I'm asking my evil brothers and 